Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Trinity. Thank you for tuning in. I am going to be doing a general reading. I felt led to do this on the on a particular topic of why you should leave the relationship you're in. And this reading is more so geared toward my viewers that may feel um, like they're stuck at a crossroads. Maybe they don't know whether or not they want to be in the relationship or maybe they need a nudge to leave. Um, but if this does not resonate with you, by all means, there's other tarot readers on YouTube. Definitely go check them out. Um, if this resonates with you, then continue yes, to watch. We are here to find out today why you should leave the relationship. So Spirit, can you just let us know? I just told you guys I'm not the best at. <laughs> can you let us know? Tell me why our viewers should leave. Why should the viewers leave the current relationship that they're in? Why should you leave? Why should the viewers leave the current relationship they're in? Why should they leave? Okay, so we have intuition. Why should the current viewers leave the relationship they're in now? So we had two cards flip out and fall. I'm pretty sure you saw that. Uh -oh. So we have obstacles and challenges and the waiting game. So I'm going to do... So maybe you know... Maybe you know you're supposed to leave. Maybe like deep down inside, you've thought about this already. You've thought about the pros and cons. And you know that intuition, God, spirit, universe, whoever you believe in, um, is telling you it's time to biz ounce. It's time to go. It's time to move forward. Look, because he's, he's walking forward. No, it's not going to be easy. Obstacles and challenges. It'll hurt. It might hurt. You know, he's barefoot. Walking on all, it's smooth right here, but but you have to take that leap of faith. This is why you should leave. Because you're just going to be waiting around forever. You're going to be waiting for them to change. Waiting for them to want to be with you or... Waiting for them to say something. Waiting for them to express their feelings. Waiting for them to get on your level. Maybe <clears throat> financially or spiritually or whatever. They're just not on your level. And then maybe they're just not for you at this time. Yeah, you have some choices to make. You have I'm seeing here the number twos, and the number two represents balance, duality, partnership, choices, opposition, reflection, diversity. So you have a lot to think about, you know. Um, or maybe you've already thought about it and now it's just weighing heavy on you. But spirit, God, intuition, whatever you call it, whatever you believe in it, self is telling you it's time to go. Take that leap of faith. Reflect. You need to reflect on the now. Like something, you're looking at the past and you need to open your eyes, look at the now and here and take that leap of faith. I have some other Oracle cards here and I usually use these for advice. Or not advice, but words of encouragement. So yeah, stop waiting around for this person. If they're for you, they'll they'll be back in your life. Really take this time to reflect and, and, and take that time to move away. Um, take that time to love on yourself. Really get connected to your path, what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You, I have a feeling you already know. And you're being forced to kind of maybe maybe some of you that 
that this resonates with. Um, maybe some of you are, this person is blocking your career or blocking your forward progression. Any words of encouragement for my viewers? Any words of encouragement for my viewers? Any words? And just so you know, a card just flipped out, but... Um, I'm just using this little, I think it's called the Manifestation, Soulmate Manifestation Oracle deck. It came with a set from Amazon, but this is the card that flipped out. Words of encouragement. It says you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. So take the leap of faith. This is spirit, universe, intuition. Whatever you believe in, this is higher self telling you, like, we got you. Just jump. Like, you're going to make it to the other side. But you can't keep doing this. You can't keep waiting. So, yeah, the answer to the question of why you need to leave is because you know that it's time and this person is blocking you or whatever this relationship is. It could be food. It could be a person. Um... It could just be any unhealthy relationship you have with anything, inanimate objects, whatever. But it's time to stop waiting around. It's time now to make that jump because your intuition, your higher self is telling you it's time to come on now. So continue on to that and don't be afraid. So yeah, that was your reading. Um, I hope that this helped. I hope it resonated with at least one or some of you. If you have any questions or comments, definitely go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and feel free to discuss. Let me know what this is pertaining to in your life or if you've made the decision to leave or not, or if this is something you're still kind of debating. But yeah, anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button if you feel led to do so. I will see you all in my next video. I'm sending love, light, and positivity your way. Have a beautiful and blessed day.